Can you really predict the weather using chemistry? In the 1800s, people believed that you could, using a mysterious device called a storm glass. This sealed glass container filled with a chemical solution would form crystals that supposedly signaled upcoming weather changes. Clear liquid meant sunshine, cloudy meant rain, feather-like crystals would mean snow on the way. But was it really science or was it just wishful thinking? Today we will explore how the storm glass works, what's really going on inside it, and then we will conduct our own experiment to create the same beautiful chemistry by growing snowflake-like crystals using ammonium chloride. The experiment you chose in the poll. Welcome to Cube Chemistry, where we will discuss all the elements of the periodic system and also do experiments. And if you like this video and want to see more, make sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will never have to miss another episode. Also, if you want to influence next week's element, make sure to fill in the poll on the community section of our channel. Now what I have here is a device called a storm glass that we purchased about four years ago in the Science Museum Nemo in Amsterdam. And it's a funny little gimmick that, as you can see, promises to tell you the weather. Now, you can see what will happen with different events inside of the tube. Now, these storm glasses were made famous by Admiral Robert Fitzroy, who included them in his early studies of weather forecasting. It became popular among sailors and scientists as a tool to read the skies, with the idea that the crystal formations inside could reflect changes in the atmospheric pressure. Now, modern science, however, tells a different story. Storm glasses typically contain a mixture of distilled water, ethanol, camphor, ammonium chloride and potassium nitrate. And the key idea was that environmental changes would affect the appearance of the crystals inside. But in truth, the main factor affecting the storm glass is temperature, not pressure. As the temperature drops, the chemicals in the solution become less soluble and crystals form. When it warms up, the crystals dissolve again. So while storm glasses don't accurately forecast the weather, they do demonstrate a real and fascinating chemical process, crystallization driven by solubility changes. Now, this is something we've discussed earlier in a video about hot ice and make sure to watch it as it is a fascinating concept. Now, to get a little bit of an understanding of what's happening inside the storm glass, we are going to see that process in action. We can recreate a similar effect with a simple experiment, no camphor or sealed tubes required. Now for this experiment we will use ammonium chloride, a salt that dissolves easily in hot water. So first we poured 20 milliliters of distilled water into a graduated cylinder and then we added about 12 grams of ammonium chloride in it. We then took a larger beaker and filled it with tap water and made sure that it boiled uh, by putting it into a microwave. We then placed the graduated cylinder uh, into the beaker of hot water and we left it for about 15 minutes. The ammonium chloride needs to completely dissolve at this point. Now after the 15 minutes we saw that the ammonium chloride was dissolved, we took the graduated cylinder from the beaker and placed it next to it. And now we wait for about 3 to 4 minutes and the ammonium chloride crystals should appear, which resemble snowflakes. The colder the ammonium chloride gets, the more snow crystals that will form. The experiment can be repeated by reheating the bottle again. Now this experiment visually demonstrates the same chemistry, how temperature affects solubility, and how crystals form when a solution can no longer hold everything it dissolved. Now this experiment relies on supersaturation. Ammonium chloride has a solubility of 383 grams per liter when the water is at a temperature of 77 degrees Fahrenheit or 25 degrees Celsius. At a temperature of 211 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius, the solubility reaches a stunning 740 grams per liter, nearly doubling the solubility at room temperature. Simply heating the solvent, water in this case, to boil the temperature allows us to dissolve almost twice the mass of ammonium chloride. The increased kinetic energy of the water actually facilitates the breaking apart of the bonds of the solute. Now this is a mechanism behind the linear relationship between solubility and temperature. Now as the solution cools, ammonium chloride precipitates and forms crystalline structures. 
The crystalline structure is unique to the ammonium chloride molecule and is the result of its atomic structure. If you watch this solution as it cools, you will see ammonium chloride crystals form and fall to the bottom of the container. The crystals continue to grow after they have settled on the bottom. This is a really beautiful experiment, right? So, can you predict the weather with chemistry? Well, not exactly. But you can witness some of the beautiful processes that early scientists once mistook for weather prophecy. Now, the storm glass may not be a reliable weather forecast tool, but it's a great reminder that even our misconceptions can lead us to fascinating discoveries. By understanding the real science behind crystals, crystallization, solubility and saturation, we gain a deeper appreciation for both the beauty and the power of chemistry. Now if you think I missed something, make sure to leave it in the comments and if you want to learn more about how solubility works, make sure to watch this next video about hot eyes.